Hey, this is Big Grind. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about whether synthesizers make good investments. To start off, I will say what's a good investment is going to vary from person to person. Um, I will say I'm not talking about buying new synthesizers and thinking they're going to be worth more later. That's not impossible, um, but generally speaking, they don't increase in value unless it becomes rare or very highly desirable and preferably both. You could buy something, let's say like the matriarch, buy it, use it, have fun. And then if you need the money, sell it, not for profit per se, but you get most of your money back. Uh, they don't lose value very much. Moog uh, instruments don't. So, this makes a good way to save most of your money instead of it just sitting in a bank. The main way I like to look at synthesizers as an investment, I'll use two synthesizers that I purchased in the past as a great example. I made a Reddit post about this. Some people were upset about it. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about a few of the comments, but the two synthesizers are the Waldorf Blofeld and the Casio CZ3000. Now, the Blofeld I got for $160. The guy just wanted to get rid of it, basically. He needed the cash, and I bought it. Now, I wasn't looking for one. Uh, I never really looked into them too much, but when I saw it and kind of was doing, looking at YouTube videos, I was like, okay, it seems kind of interesting. So, it was a great deal. I figured the worst case scenario, I'll play with it. If I don't like it, I can sell it for more. The CZ3000 I got for $100. Awesome condition. Great, great deal because they sell, I don't know, $350, $400, depending on uh, where you sell it. But I knew that was a great deal. That was another situation where I wasn't looking for one. I didn't really know much about it. But I knew it was a great deal. Worst case scenario, I could sell it. These are more situations where even if I don't use it that much, if I need the money, I can always make a profit on it. Now, some of the guys on the Reddit post that I made about synthesizers being a, an investment, they got really upset saying I'm depriving people from using a, a synthesizer at a good deal, blah, blah, blah saying I'm people like me make it bad or I'm part of the problem. I'm the reason why synthesizers get hiked up in price. Look, anytime you buy something like this keyboard right here, being that it's in my possession, I'm depriving someone else to use it. I'm the only one that can use this. Just like your synthesizers. Nobody else can use your synthesizers because you bought it. And just simply being smart, buying an item. Look, rich people do this all the time. They do it with cars. They do it uh, with houses. They do it with paintings and artwork where they buy something. Instead of the money sitting in the bank, they buy an item that they can enjoy looking at or whatever. And later on, either sell it at a profit or get most of their money back. Because your money sitting in the bank loses money due to inflation, where items go up in price due to inflation. And sure, there are other factors involved. Again, the uh, desire for the item and how rare the item is makes a difference on the price. But generally speaking, I bought this matriarch at 2000 When the chip shortage, the price went up. At some point, I could have sold it for 2000 for what I paid for it. Now the market's changing a little bit now. Where you can't get as much for a used matriarch. But at one point, if I wanted to, I could have sold it and got my money back. And I got a chance to, to use it. But I have no, chance, I have no uh, intentions of getting rid of this ever, if I can help it. But that's just a good example. So can synthesizers be a great investment? Yes, on 
every aspect that you can think of, of a good investment, depending on what you pay for it and depending on how much you use it and how much you value that item, how much you enjoy it. Because pretty much as long as you enjoy it, even if you lose a little bit of money, that's not a big deal because you got to enjoy the item. So that's it, y'all. I mean, that's just my take on synthesizers being a good investment. Um, let me play one note just just cuz. All right. Peace.